Hi guys, it's Rob here from Turnip Lord and from GamePit.co.uk and today I'm going to be taking a look at one of two of the snooker games that are out this week. This one is Snooker Nation Championship 19 or 2019. Uh, tomorrow I'll be taking a look at the other one which I think is Snooker 19 but today it's Snooker Nation Championship 2019. Um, there should be a review over on gamepit.co.uk shortly as well. Uh, we just can't talk about the other game until tomorrow because of that one's embargo. So that's Wednesday when we can talk about the second one. Tuesday today we can talk about Snooker Nation Championship. Um, so we're just going to have a look at the game and see what it's like because obviously we know what Snooker is. Um, well, most of us out there do know what Snooker is. But. I just wanted to see what the game is actually like in terms of its gameplay. So I've not done anything apart from read these. I'm just telling you how to basically play snooker. It's just your standard pool and snooker based control by the looks of it. I've not done anything else. So I'm just going to jump straight into championship and just see if we can do anything. So we we'll start a new career. Welcome to the Snooker, Na uh, Snooker Nation Championship. So, prize fund is zero. Oh, okay. So, we can change between Snooker and Snooker Plus. Let's just keep on Snooker. Aiming level. We'll just keep on extended for now. That just means it's more than likely going to show me exactly where the balls are going to go. Um, AI difficulty, easy, medium, hard. Let's leave them on easy because I've not played Snooker for a very long time. Right, here we go. Oh. Right, so the qualifier we're playing with an SN of $500. I don't know if that's a pay-in or if that's a payout. But our first opponent is going to be Mr. Gary Tinkle. <laughs> okay, so Gary Tinkle versus me. Um, one, two, three, four, five. There's six rounds we need to be at before we finish this tour. Okay. Um, let's try that. So it's one frame. And I did have a quick look before the video started if I could change that picture um, to my avatar or some other kind of picture. But it didn't let me change it. So I don't know if that's going to be an option once I finish a few rounds or if it's just a case of that I'm always going to be a mysterious shadow. Not quite sure, but let's jump in so that's quite good there's no load times or anything so I'm liking that so, so far so good it looks pretty realistic yeah, in the options as well just so you know there was the option to actually turn off the crowd if you wanted to play with no one there and I think there's an option to like turn off the music and stuff like that as well so there's quite a few bits of customization I do like this it does look quite realistic it's just me, yeah. Right, so there's the crowd who are all they're all 3D rendered by the looks of it, apart from from a third row back. Well actually even from a second row back, they're clearly 2D sprites that are just sat there to fill the space. But at least the ones on the front are 3D rendered. Which is pretty cool. He's quite tall, that one there. Anyway, we're not here to look at the crowd, we're here to play snooker so I do like that as well it goes red if you can't hit it there and white if you can because obviously you're not supposed to hit any of these colored balls until we do the reds first so let's um let's go there what's that black thing is that black thing showing me where the ball's gonna land Okay, I don't know why it's telling me exactly where the white ball is going to land. It shouldn't do that. All right, so what it said you can do is you can pull it back and then you push it forward, um, obviously, to once you get your power sorted. But you can also press R1 and that will lock the power in. So now I've took my hand off the controller. And as you can see, you can then finish off moving it around whilst it stays at that power. And I think you then press R1 again. No. Let's try that again. Then see if 
pull it back, you press R1, and I think you push it forward. Foul. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, foul. So he gets to go first. There you go. Um, so while he's, while Mr. Gary Tinker's playing, One. that's a very loud announcer. Yeah. Eight. Wow. Okay. Now, hopefully, you know of the rules of snooker. Oh, shit. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely does. Um, if you don't, you have to pot a red and then pot 14. any colour. So, unlike pool, it's red, then colour, red, then colour, red, then colour. Once all of the uh, reds have gone, then you have to start doing the colours in a certain order. Oh, I was trying to look around and I pressed the wrong stick. <laughs> oh, I should just start over. <laughs> just so you know as well, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. So, I do have an excuse for being a bit dopey at the moment. Go on, put a white. Damn. 6. So, I won't touch the stick while it's playing. Next. There you go. So if you want to remember, we have to do the reds first. Uh, so, so it's red then colour, red then colour, red then colour. Once all the reds are gone, then I think it's yellow, brown, green, blue, pink, black. I think that's the order you have to do it in. I'm pretty sure the game would tell us anyway. But you can't pop the colours individually until then as you can see the, the colors that he potted are back on the table so once you do red then a color that color comes back in its initial spot on the table until all the reds are gone and you start potting the colors individually um, but again like i said that's pretty much preaching to the choir because you more than likely already know how to play snooker one. One. Now, having that guide there is a bit of a cheat, to be honest with you. I said you can turn it off as various different levels of guide. Six. But, as this is the first time I've played for a while, I thought, why not have a full guide? Why, thank you. Seven. Um, can we get a black? I think we can, actually. Nope, we're going to hit the red. Okay. How about a pink? No. Blue? No. Oh, God. Very limited. Um, yellow? Will that hit it? Can we do an overlook? We can. Okay. Question is, oh sh! I see. Press L1 to move slower. Right, will that go in? It looks like it will. <sighs> I was wrong. Power. So the ball physics are pretty cool. They seem quite realistic. One. Oh, did he get one in? God damn it. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, so the ball physics are pretty cool. There was the option One. to... Um, get different environments and whatnot, but I think you had to have, I think it was a hundred thousand grand, uh, not a hundred thousand, yeah, a hundred thousand grand would be a um, hundred thousand thousand. No, uh, I think you had to have a hundred thousand dollars to unlock it. There was various things that you could buy. I know that. Eight. Get in there. Yes. Nine. Nine. Um, yellow. 
It's only worth two, I think. Some people chatting away and laughing in the background. Eleven. You can. I'm not quite sure what button you press, but you can. Oh, that change the camera angle. You can do spins on the ball by moving the cue around the white ball. But it gave me a guide in that written guide that I showed you at the beginning. But I can't remember what button it said to press, so I'm not even going to mess with that. You can use that to obviously set up trick shots. Oh, as you bounce off the cushion and like go around various balls and then come back on yourself. Oh, a bit of a crap shot from the CPU there. This one. Tell you what, even though. Ah, there we go. You can use the D-pad. I was going to say, even though it's on the slow movement mode at the moment, it's still a bit fiddly trying to uh, line up the perfect One. shot. But you can use the D-pad. Oh, no. I pressed the wrong bloody button again. <sighs> Sorry. It's set to left stick look, right stick shoot. And because most video games are left stick move right stick look I keep moving my right stick thinking that's the look um, button and obviously it's not but yeah it's a bit fiddly trying to line it up that needs to be a bit more stronger balls but yeah um, the d-pad and the left stick Way too sensitive. At some points, can we get this one in? We're both doing rubbish here at the moment. Both me and the CPU. <laughs> Come on, we should be able to get that one in at least. Oh, what? <sighs> oh, that's nuking him. No. <laughs> uh. I like it when you do that, when you knock the ball and it just happens to go right behind like all the coloured balls so he has no chance of um, being able to hit anything without doing like some kind of, kind of trick shot. Oh, a bit less. Oh, what? I think I need to use this lock-on feature because... Um, I'm losing power when I push forward. So you can pull it back, lock it in. Alright, he's bloody snookered me, Annie. After I just bloody said about me maybe snookering her in him. Look, I can't hit a red ball now without coming off the cushion. God damn it. I'm just going to smack it there, I don't care. There we go. Just gave him pretty much a free shot there now. <laughs> so he's on 25 or oh, 26 now no miss 8 uh, 9 oh. 16 It's giving me a shot in it. Okay. Remember, he is only easy, so. I won't be playing too hard. So we have to pull it back. Press R1. And push forward. There we go. It's a bit better. One. I do want to get a black in, but can I get it in? There we go. Eight. Ooh, I'm done 
this could be a bit tricky. Yes. Nine. Can we get the black in again? I haven't turned off the music in game, by the way. The game is just silent. Um, I was sixteen. Thinking, yeah, okay. I was thinking the game may have music in game because the title sequence had uh, title scene, title scene, the menu at the beginning, <laughs> um, that had. I don't know where to hit them. Um, that had music, so I thought that was going to fall into the game itself, but thankfully that went off. Obviously, there's no background music. Oh, uh, there's just for faint. Oh, One. piss off! This is for faint noises of people talking, and fuck yeah. Seven. Hell. And um, chat and uh, clapping and whatnot. So it's um, it's keeping it realistic. Cause that's cool. Be interested to see what the other snooker game. I'm just gonna smack it. Oh, look at that. That was amazing. Yeah, I'd be interested One. to see um, what the other snooker game can do to make the game different to this one. Because it's snooker. <laughs> so there's very little that can be changed. Oh, Five. That's a perfect lineup, that. Right, yeah, so now we're into the colours. So as you saw at the bottom there, it said yellow. We have to get yellow first, basically, now. And then it should be brown, then green, and blue, I think. Seven. Oh, no, it's green now. Um, so green, we've got to hit that one. Obviously, if we don't hit green, then that means it's a foul. So let's just... Oh, that's gave it him, I think. No? Okay. It's quite close as well at 42 to 48. Because so far, this generation, we haven't had a snooker game, I don't think. Three. We've had um, This Is Pool, which had a snooker mode added. I don't think we've had... Oh, which one is it? There we go. I don't think we've had a full-on snooker-only game. Which is why I thought it was quite interesting that we get two at the same time. Oh, that's a perfect Seven. line of that. Let's go back into the overhead. Oh, no! Don't get that in. Oh, I knew you would get it in. Now he's just got to do the pink and black. And he's obviously going to get them both in and win. Five. God damn it. Eleven. He won. <laughs> so, I got a little bit of experience. Frames one was one to him. So if I go and continue, what happens now? Oh, it just basically kicks me back out because I lost. So I've got to do the whole thing again. So I'm going to do it again. Let's jump in. So it's me versus Gary Tinkle again. And now I know what I'm doing. Let's um, do this properly. Now, can we actually move our ball? Because we should be able to. How do we do this then? Oh, oh. Okay, so L1 and R1 raises and lowers the butt of your Q. Um, and clicking in on the right stick resets the position. The touchpad brings up the um, hints. Okay. Move ball circle. There we go. Yes, at the beginning you can basically move a ball wherever you want in this area. So let's just go here.
I don't know why they clap it. Oh, I did. I got one in. Nice one. I was going to say, I don't know why they clap until one. you get anything in. Um, right, let's do this properly now. So let's go for the green. Not many points, but straightforward enough. Four. Line myself up for this one. Gonna hit it with a bit of force so that we can get down there. Hopefully for black. Okay, I've cocked up a black. Five. Because <laughs> there's absolutely no way I can hit a black from there. I'll be able to get a pink. Yes. Four. Eleven. Is going to go in then as well. Can't be doing with another foul. Now, what if I do a trick shot? Hit that red into that red. No, you should have just done it properly, Rob. Okay. Next time. <laughs> if you get a next time, because the computer's probably going to line up a load of decent shots now. He's probably going to go for the One. pink next. Oh no, yellow. Two. Three. Oh, it's just added it to it. Okay. That was a foul. He hit the pink. I'll go and pot that as well. Foul. Oh. Six away. Ah, it took six off him. Nice one. Um, let's go for you here. Can I move the ball? No. Shot options. What's this? All right, so I can force them to um, retake their shot if I want to. But no, I'm just gonna take my shot instead. One. That yellow's just just begging to be knocked in, isn't it? I don't know if that's gonna knock it in or not. <sighs> Balls. Why do I have to be fancy and mess it up? Okay, the computer's um acting very stupid right now. And yeah, before you all type in the comments down below how crap I am. I know. <laughs> One. I much prefer playing the real game, but I'm even worse at that. So you can imagine how bad that is. Now that was a good shot. Three. That's too many choices. I see. I want, I, if, if I was playing this on my own now, I would just smack this ball as hard as it can, just hope they go in. But I'll probably end up putting a bloody black as well. Um, uh, there we go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do before: knock one ball, to knock the other one in. Four. Can we get green? Seven. Not really lined myself up, have I? Can I get this one in? That should go in, shouldn't it? Oh, what? Just gave it him now as well. God damn it. One. One. Seven. Six. Oh, it's worth five. Okay. I thought it was worth six. No, stop it. He better not beat me. Seven. I can't let someone called Gary Tinkle beat me twice in a row. But 
Maybe Mr. Tinkle is just used to playing with balls. And that's why he's got a clear advantage. Oh my god! <sighs> I do like the sound effects. Did you hear that? Then there's a guy in the background who went, ooh! So that was pretty cool. By the way, when you see the white bar getting a bit bigger, that's me turning on One. slow mode. So that's like fast mode, and then that's slow mode. It's just so I get a bit better aiming, I suppose. Doesn't always work, because... Yes, I'm not very good. Six. Okay, six. See, has got to go in, hasn't it? If we can put it there. Oh, what? What? Oh, yeah. Take my shot. No bad. One. Oh, no, it's going to get black. No, it's not. Because the CPU is rubbish. Right, let's go for this one. See if I hit it there. I know I'm going to hit the other one first, but I should still hit that one, shouldn't I? I'll hit it. We didn't go in. God. Okay. Um... I think the CPUs gave up. <laughs> I think he's just like, oh, will he just get him in and just win this bloody round? I'm not going to be able to get that because it's going to knock the other one. Let's go for this one. See, I'm going to follow that ball, so I need to make sure I don't. <gasps> don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. One. No. Oh, that was so close. <laughs> it's right on the edge. Six. Let's ignore that one. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. Seven. Now, I am really far ahead of him. If you get to a certain amount of points, it will just declare you the winner. You know, if you get to a number of points that he possibly can't match you on. But we're not at that stage yet. Because he's got plenty of chances to catch up. Saying that, he better not catch up. Because um, I'll be a bit, One. A bit annoyed if he does. No, no. No, he can't go for the high Eight. number of balls. Oh. Tinkle. Stop Nine. it. Gotta be kidding me. Go away, Tinkle. Sixteen. Thank you. But you've also left it in a bit of a crap spot uh, spot. Spot? What's a spot? <laughs> right. Oh, pressing wrong button. Um Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <gasps> How close was that? Oh my god. Right. One. He's, one. He's definitely going to win now. Six. Or not. He is close though. 33 to 38. That means that there's not much in this. He could catch up at any point. Oh, what? 
Don't you dare go in. Good. As you can see, though, we are both now being forced to try and get the yellow. <laughs> and it's not in the best earth position. Go on, go on, go on. Aw, oh, nearly. But I think I have snookered him. He, can, he hasn't got a direct shot of the yellow from there. He, oh, no, he has. Oh, no. Follow it, follow it, Two. follow it. Aw, oh, I thought he was going to follow it into the pocket. Okay, thanks for that, mate. That should be mine. Three. Brown. How am I going to get brown in? There we go. Seven. I can't keep slipping up because it's just going to give him a chance to beat me. And I don't want to beat or play against Mr. Gary Tinkle again. I'm just going to smack it. Sod it. Oh, come on. That would have been awesome if that went in. Oh, don't you dare get these two in. Five. If he gets these two in now, it's game over. I think I've won because he can't get any more Six. points. Yes, I won. Do you want to claim a frame one in this action cannot be undone? No. I could do because there's physically no way he can now get enough points, but I want to try and get the black in as well. Yes, and I won by actually getting other balls. 13. My first victory! Woohoo! <laughs> so now we're on Matt Kligram. And I've just got a trophy um, called Winner. And I also got Machine Beater. Um, sounds a bit, a bit um, intense. I'm going to do one more round just to see what this second uh, opponent is going to be like. And we'll see if I'm as lucky because it was luck, as I was the first time round. Oh, second time round, should I say. The first time round, I um, I wasn't so lucky. One. I kind of cocked it up, didn't I? Eight. Didn't hit it hard enough. Oh my god. That would have been an awesome. Oh, it's rubbish anyway. But that would have been good by me. Had I not um, pulled back not far enough. Hey, my Yoda. Had I not pulled back far enough. Mm -hmm. No, had I. Oh, you, you've done it again. That's a foul because I've not even hit the ball. Oh Foul. my god. Four away. Oh piss off. What a load of shit. <laughs> I wasn't looking at One. the power bar. Why wasn't I looking at the power bar? Piss off. Seven. Good. You'll deserve it anyway, cock. Say who does deserve this one? 
And that time I hit it too hard. Oh my god. Anyway, let's um let's try and be civil about this. Must always be cautious of power bar. One. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. Doing really well as well. <laughs> One. God damn it. All right, so you can press X to speed up their shot as well, so that's pretty cool to to know. One. Can't get black from there, I don't think. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Seven. Eight. Oh, there's a blue there. But I don't know if I hit the green. Oh, you can nominate. Do you get more points if you nominate? So you can say, I want to hit this green in that pocket. But I don't know if you get more points if you do that. I've nominated green, so let's try and get the green in. I didn't get Eleven. points, I don't think, but... See, because I think in real snooker, you're supposed to say, I'm going to put... I'm going to pot green in that particular pocket. Twelve. I can't, can't remember. I know on Big Break, the um, TV snooker trick shot game show, they used to do that. Obviously, that's a game show, so could be wrong. Eighteen. You never know. Probably I'm wrong. No, no, no. Oh my god, that was close. I accidentally pushed the right stick. Yes. Nineteen. Can we get a black? Not really. We can see we can pop, use the pink to pop the black, but would that count? Foul. Seven no. away. Shit. See, I didn't think that was going to work, but I wasn't sure. I was lost points as well. God damn it. Shouldn't have risked it. One. Eight. Nine. 
Nein. Sixteen. There's 43 One. points left on the board. 50 now, it says. Oh, okay. See, there's no way I can get that in, so I'm just going to smack it. But I don't want to smack it too hard that I cock myself up. Don't line it up for Oh, it's lined it right up for him. God damn it. I'm on 61 though, so hopefully I'll win. One. But he could catch up. Eight. Not much I can do because I didn't know where to hit it. He's going to get that in now as well. But well, at least now we're on colours, so we should start getting One. an advantage over him, hopefully. Five. Oh, he gave it. He gave up because there wasn't a chance he would win. Nice one. So if I go and continue. It's now going to carry on doing us here. Um, can I just quit out of this? Yes, I can. Nice one. So that's our career. What else can we do? Let's go back to home. So we can do online. Now, hopefully, you can hear me because that music is quite loud. Let me just, just turn that music down. There you go, that's a bit better. Don't know if that was going to be out overshadowing me or not. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, so I've got a look on here. So we have collection. Oh, we've got more things now, I think, haven't we? It's so aiming aids. As you can see, we've got different style, uh, different levels. That's the one that's on now with the most guidance. But then down to zero. So you can actually have it with absolutely no guidance at all or just guidance on the white ball. Um, then we have locations, so at the moment we've got just the standard one, but then for 100,000, 200,000 and 300,000 you can unlock each of those. I only have $3,000 at the moment in the game. Um, decals, so what skin you want on the um, table. I don't know what this is. Can we preview it? No, it looks like some weird creatures. Okay, is that a dead woman? So for ten thousand, we can get a dead woman on the on the felt. I think I'll try and unlock that one. Oh, there's different packs. Oh my god, I didn't see this. Wait a minute. Right, so they've only got one pack each, but the decals. There's a bunch of different packs. Okay. That's cool. So there's all those to unlock. Hopefully, there's not a trophy for unlocking all of them, because <laughs> that'll take a long time. Right, cues. I've just got a standard one at the moment. This is just changes the way it visually looks. I don't think there's any stats behind these. And celebrations. Now, I've not really... I don't think I'll ever encounter a celebration, so I might not invest 100,000 into those. <laughs> but yeah, there's those. There's the settings on there. I've got the y-axis inverted. There's a few other like, different volumes and whatnot. Gameplay wise, you can change the distance of the queue, whether you want people on. The field of view, you can change that. What type of camera type you want, like TV camera, auto zoom, follow ball. So you can actually have it follow the ball around as it bounces. Uh, power bar on or off. Um, no, cancel that. The archives, you can save replays on there as well. And then if we go back, I say we've got online mode, versus mode, practice. Skill center is just those little um, tips that came up at the beginning. If we go online, I don't know if anyone's going to be playing it because it's not actually out till tomorrow. 
Uh, play or create online matches, leagues, so you can play a league, uh, leaderboards and friendlies. What's in leagues? How to play. Three points are awarded for a win. It, reach for point targets. So reach for points target to get promoted to the next division and avoid relegation. The aim is to move up from League 10 to League 1. Prize fund 2000. Play for cash. What? Is that real cash or in-game cash? Game type snooker. Can we change that? No. Aiming level, shot timer, prize fund, location. Buy table for $200,000. Collection, create. So play for cash. It's not letting me do anything with that, but I'm guessing that just means that's what it is. Play a game and work your way to the top of the league. So you can create your own leagues um, and work your way up. Yeah, so if I refresh this, as you see, there's no lobbies at all at the moment. You'd have to create your own. And like I said, that's just because I'm playing it before the game comes out at um, silly o'clock in the morning. It is um, 3 o'clock in the morning, so that's why there's no one actually playing the game at the moment. Um, and leaderboards is actually going to tell me... Oh, there we go. I'm ranked 15th in the world based on my experience. So there's at least 15 people who are playing the game at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so that is Snooker Nation Championship 2019. This one is out today on Tuesday. Um, we have another snooker game which is out later this week, which has an embargo of tomorrow. So I'll do a video on that one tomorrow. But if you like the look at this one, I say this is your, I don't mean this in a bad way, but this is your bog standard snooker game. So you got your championships, which you can work your way through, your online modes, your versus against people locally, uh, you got practice mode there, and you've got um, obviously different things that you can unlock via in-game currency as well. So if you just purely want to play snooker without the bells and whistles, no frills and whatnot, then this game seems great. Um, the physics are perfect you know I, I wouldn't expect it to be any different really but I don't, I, they're not bad the the balls move like you would expect in real life you've got varying levels of your aiming um, reticule and whatnot um, but yeah and, and I know I've said am um, quite a bit and I'm sorry I'm just trying to think at this time in the morning um, but yeah it it works it's it's a fun game what more could you ask for so if you like the video like comment subscribe if you've got any questions leave them down below don't forget to follow us um by coming to our website on gamepit g-a-m-e-p-i-t-t dot -t -t uh, you can click the little bell when you go to our website and it will keep you updated on when our reviews go up and whatnot or you can subscribe on here um, or you can even follow us over on twitter all the details will be down below in the description um, and I will catch you in my next video, which hopefully will be tomorrow with the second snooker game. Um, if you don't, if I haven't already uploaded another video, because I've actually got another one, which should be going up today as well. So I'll catch you either in that video, or the other snooker video, or somewhere else. Anyway, but yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.